Am the Tree by Karen Isaac is a combination of stories that tell our perspective in a very unique way. And this morning, Mr. Isaac joins us here on the Now Morning Show to tell us more and to keep us rooted in our history. Good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show, sir. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. An absolute pleasure because we would have spoken before. Right. And I had the pleasure of knowing that the book was coming. Yeah. But not necessarily all of the labor of love that took <laughs> to get it here. Definitely. Because we're looking at a compilation of stories. We're looking at activities happening during the pandemic. Yeah. And so tell us where this took root. Right, definitely. I love it. Yeah, so um, this is my second collection. Of course, it's called I Am The Tree. Uh, it was inspired by, uh, I actually saw uh, the design of um, Valmiki Maharaj, the Mokopui, mm -hmm. and it stopped me in my tracks. And I said, well, I'd, I'd never felt like such a, a connection to design. I think it was because one, it was the uh, it was a combination of Mokojambi, which we all know, right. and then the Pui, and I love plants and flowers, and um, I love when things line up, and my first book is called poetry and I looked at it and I said I don't know what to do with this but it's going to inspire something <laughs> so I screenshotted it I saved the video um, and I just knew I wanted to, to collect something and then I, I, I love when things come together organically I went to the mall there was this um, display on uh, like pecan calypso and all the culture and then naturally just everything just kept coming together I, I started like um, getting these folklore stories um, traditional masks and of course in, in Upon my research, I stumbled upon the God Carnival series where you guys interviewed all of these um, these wonderful traditional mass heroes, I call them. So it, w it was fun. I feel like it came together quite organically. And I think that's the best that's the best thing when your work could come together quite naturally. Right. And then I, it, it all clicked and I was like, OK, this is the book. It's going to be called I Am The Tree because it's a natural transformation of poetry into me now realizing that I'm the impetus to carry these stories and the culture forward. Beautiful. Now, carrying stories and putting the culture forward, it is repetitious. So you've created a different dynamic in this particular one. We yeah. are getting the folk characters, we are getting the stories of these items, yeah. but in a unique way. Tell me a little bit more without perhaps giving away too much. Right, definitely. Yes, so it's from the perspective of myself, a poet or an author. Um, and that, if I'm being honest, that's something I kind of struggle with at the beginning because um, you don't find, well, for me in particular, it was hard to find a lot of written um, material or research on a lot of these things. And then a lot of it, um, it you wouldn't really find, um, I believe there are poetry out on a lot of these characters, but I feel like I, I was able to bring my own perspective. And at first, I kind because of the respect I had for the characters, I was struggling between, <laughs> my editor called it, um, I call it prosetry, where I'd kind of like just rewrite who the characters were, but with a rhyme scheme. But I wanted it to have some more life. So um, that is why I was so fortunate able to contact you and get in touch with these um, traditional mass legends and be able to actually um, get the history of the story. And then uh, what I did, I streamlined um, the information I got and then put it to rhyme scheme and pen and paper. So it's, it's kind of like you, you do like a thesis and then you tr you're transposing that thesis into a poem. Oh, make it sound simple, <laughs> don't you? Like, wow, a lot of we're going into that yeah. there. Because in itself, telling these stories, making sure you get those it, it, accurate details that is expressed it. Yeah. and articulated. Yeah. Do you think that the book is geared towards a particular age group or group of persons so perhaps? I, yeah, I would say definitely from a uh, teenage group. And I say that because um, the vocabulary, some, I, I don't believe that uh, younger children understand. But in the past, I've said that, and then I've had parents buy the book and their children at a level. Uh, That's so, right, you, you expose know? them and they yeah, learn. So I think if, if you want it, it could be like a great conversation starter because a lot of the characters, like for example, um, Baby Doll, right? That's such a, a fun character, but if, do you know the history of the Baby Doll character? It's one of the, uh, you know, an illegitimate child, and there's a bit of a sad history behind it. But um, we kind of, I was able to connect with um, three baby doll um, portrayers and we were able to tell the story of this baby doll fighting back so mm. it's like she teams up I don't want to give away to but oh. she teams up with another character and she fights back against um, you know what she's been through so it's fun it's kind of like transformative and I was actually really happy that we reached to that level because if we're talking about being a tree um, you don't have to always stick to you know the story that was woven through history you could also transform it and, and reshape branch what you want. out I like it exactly. I like it now in terms of the details of the book I 
don't want you to give it all away, <laughs> but I definitely want to hear a little bit of it. Yes, for Can sure. that happen this morning? For Would sure. you read for us? Of course. So I'll be reading Get Information, and this one is on uh, Sailor Mass. I had the opportunity to work on this with uh, Keith Simpson. So here goes. Get information that we rock the ship, walking shoulder to shoulder and hip to hip. Get information with linens of stockings or undershirt. This papier mache nose points to the time of my birth. Get information, let we powder your face. If you're afraid them thing, then this not your race. Get information, let we bend the wire. Crab sculpt into gone turrets, now you're under fire. Get information, let we live this feathered fantasy, all part of the marching and wheeling of fiery artillery. Get information and keep this fire going. Incinerate this confetti that has been carelessly blowing. Get information, you'll respect my insignia. Rocking the ship, this embodies my kinesthesia. Get information, let me dance the Mariko. Other dances will follow resembling that of the limbo. Get information, blow on my dear trumpeter. Commence my show, I now become your theater. Get information, pay attention to the clock on my head. Time is running, but this thing isn't dead. Get information from King Crab to London Bridge. Hands interlocked, meets, let's climb this ridge. Get information, let me rock this ship, walking shoulder to shoulder and hip, hip to, to hip. hip. Woo! The words of Kieran Isaac <laughs> there from I Am The Tree. The second book yeah. out of this series, well, a series yeah. of uh, yeah, pieces that we'll get from you. Yeah. But how do we get our hands on a copy? Right, so you can contact me directly at 763-8566 or you can follow all my social media, um, Poet, Tree World, P-O-E-T-T-R-E-E, -E, Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter even, TikTok and all of these things. And um, yeah, you definitely get your hands on our copies on Amazon, Kindle, Digital Canopy, and most recently on the app, um, Onkyu. So there's a lot of ways to get it. I'm also working on getting it into bookstores and even particularly on TikTok right now, I'm working on a little um, mini series where like I, I, I kind of like interpose um, the the different locations in China that are even highlighted in the book and all the culture and all the different characters into video. Ooh. So I think that'll be really fun. So just launch a teaser today on my TikTok. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so we're tuning into the TikTok. Yeah. We're heading over to the digital platforms. We're yeah. following you on Instagram and yeah. everything else yeah. so that we can too say I am the tree author and poet Kieran Isaac joins us this morning on the Now Morning Show. So give us something to add to our reading list to keep the culture alive and to experience carnival in a different way. This is the Now Morning Show. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks you guys so get your hands me. on a copy of the book and in the meantime during the break I'm going to do some reading so stick around. <laughs> we have more where that came from. <laughs>